Welcome to Makeup Mug Up. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the pineapple we have today. This is what we're working with, kids. I don't, uh, I don't understand it. Should we swoop this back? Should we, sh should we, I don't, it's, I, this is it. This is what we got. I don't s send help. What is this? Okay, sorry. I'm so sorry. The first 25 seconds of my video is me apologizing for the pineapple that is on pawn my head. Okay. We are, we got an exciting video because I've got some new products that I just bought from Ulta. Previous video to this is the haul if you want to see everything that I got, but I'd like to try a lot of these products upon my face right meow. So we're going to do a full face of new products. Get ready because I'm excited. Okay. So I've got moisturizer and sunscreen and all that on and I'm, it's about halfway through the day here, which is why the pineapple is looking so fresh. Uh, but I want to start with a primer. This is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. Got a little baby size. Let's look at that before I mess it all up. Let's look at that. It'll be good. All right. So I'm going to try. I don't know how much to use. Anybody? Is it like Tatcha? Is that what we're doing? Is it like the Tatcha? Are we using the Tatcha up here? Okay. Oh, it's very, uh, it's a little bit less silky than the Tatcha. I would say it matte. It's like matte quick. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's pretty, it's, that's pretty, that's pretty matte. <laughs> okay. All right. It's like, I can hear my finger, my, you know, I can hear my finger on my skin when I'm using, this is very different than I thought. Okay. I don't know why y'all like this. <laughs> why do you like this? Okay. Got a couple of hormonal friends here uh, because we are hormonal. So we'll be having a great day with them. I don't know that I love that. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm really glad I bought the baby size and not the giant size. I'll keep trying it, but I don't know that that is what I like. Hold on. Are we just there i don't know i feel dark today like i'm in the dark i don't know i don't know about that got a new foundation this is the the revolution conceal and glow illuminating foundation i got it in f2 let me get my fancy makeup palette out shake that real good it i uh, swatched it in the last video but i'm not i, I didn't I, didn't, I don't know. I don't know about it. I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty package, by the way. They've, they've done a lot with their packaging. It's pretty runny. Okay. I also got a new foundation brush from Real Techniques. It's their face and body blender. It's a cute little dense little, you know, I was going to say wandless. It's like a little short stack here. Let's go in. It's always fun to try a new application technique, like a new brush or a new sponge with a new foundation because you don't know whose fault it is. I, uh, I don't know that I'm in love with either. What? We are not having a good day. Okay, let's try, let's try my, let's try a sponge. And we'll do the same spot with a sponge. See how that works. I don't mind a glowy foundation. I like matte. I like glowy. I like natural. I like unnatural. I don't. I don't mind. I just like foundation. I just and I love to watch someone put on foundation. I love to watch a barber cut a man's hair. I love weird things like that. I love the person who makes the teeny tiny food for the hamster. I love to watch that. 
but specifically about foundation, like I, I love to watch someone uh, try out a new foundation or put on a foundation because it just it, it impresses me. I don't I don't know why. It makes me happy when someone puts on a foundation. I've done really well with these spots on my face, not messing with them. So be impressed. I'm I am because I'm trying really hard to in my older years, I have used, I don't know, three pumps on half my face. This says it's medium to full lies. And I don't like the blender for sure. Let's put two more pumps on the very fancy palette. Let's try this, this cheek here. Let's see how we can do. I do have a lot to cover though, to be fair, because I have redness. I have uh, some hyperpigmentation from the sun and from acne scarring. I had pretty severe acne when I was a teenager and it went untreated for quite a number of years. And uh, as an adult, I just get the the occasional spot from hormones and it's it's always on, you know, on the lower part of my face and I can get some that are that are painful, that are cystic, but typically not and but I'm still dealing with the after effects of my teenage years and the fallacy that if I scrubbed my face harder with St. Ives Walnut Scrub or Apricot Scrub, that it would make my skin better and I was really doing the opposite. So don't do that kids, FYI. But also <laughs> there's plenty more information now that uh, someone can find out from, you know, dermatologists here on YouTube and answering questions about acne and what to do and what not. You can definitely educate yourself a lot better than when I was a teenager and you had to go to the library and look at the card catalog. We're that old. So, you know, that's a, it's, it's an advantage to uh, anyone to find information today. It's so much easier. And uh, you can kind of figure out things that you can do to help yourself or things to avoid to help yourself. I didn't have that. So I probably did a lot more damage trying to help uh, than I ever, you know, should have done. Okay, so it says it's medium to full. I think I've got it to medium, uh, high medium, I would say. I don't, I don't think that we're at full. And the glow is not very glowy. I mean, there is a sheen, but it's not, it's, this is not a super dewy foundation. This is not super glowy. Illuminating foundation. I don't know. It's a nice color match. It, it, F2 is nice. I typically get F3, but F2 is a nice color match to me. So if you are an NW13 or 18, this might, you know, this might be a good match for you. I only saw even numbers of shades in my Ulta. That doesn't mean that that's not all, that's all that there is. That's just all that they had there, but that's all they had the room for either. They didn't have blank spots for three or five. So that's a thing. Okay, so if you're a pale girl, uh, F2 might work for you. It works. I also picked up the Revolution Conceal and Fix in light beige. This is their pot concealer here. We'll take a little bit. I mean, it's uh, come on now, come on now. And I guess we will we'll pat in with our ring finger because this is kind of thick. She's thick, and uh, we'll pat that. <laughs> we'll pat that in, and then we'll go over it with our sponge. I'm really disappointed about. Maybe it just depends on the foundation, but I'm kind of disappointed that this didn't work uh, better than it did. And again, I'll try it with a, with some other foundations to see if it's just a combo thing. It's so one of the hardest things about trying several new products at once. Number one, you play the game of which thing broke me out, but you also have a hard time fit, you know, deciphering whether or not uh, this, you know, which product is to blame if something doesn't perform very well, or you know, you do that thing where it looks really, really good with the combo that you had. You do it again on another day using a different primer, using a different powder, you know, all that. And all of a sudden it does not look anything like it did. You know, it's makeup either clashes or enhances 
the other one, like there's, there's a lot to be said for the combination of products. So if someone is mixing foundations to get the right shade, I want to know exactly which shade and exactly which formula are you mixing to look, make it look so good because it, it can, it can turn on a dime on you. So, okay. I do like the concealer. That is very brightening. I have some pretty rough under eyes this week. It's been a long week at work. We had a night that we were up most of the night. And so it's, uh, it's been a week. Okay, not bad, not bad. We will see how it sets. Before, uh, let's see, let me set. I'm gonna set with, uh, I'll try the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana with this and we will see how she goes. Cap off though. It's a pretty thick concealer and I don't, I typically don't use Wet n Wild with a thick concealer, but we'll try it today. Let's see if we can't get it set. It's pretty tacky. That concealer is pretty tacky. Think like by my under eyes, not the coverage and the craziness, but the just a little like, tacky like that. Like it's not, it didn't set down by itself. It needs, it needs to be set. So we'll give her a good set. There we go. And then let's use, I don't, I didn't buy a powder because I don't need one. I like, I mean, I like the, I like the shade match. I really do. Let's, do we want to set with a, I'll set with MAC. I'm trying to decide which powder. I'll just use my Studio Fix in NW18. I'll just use her because I need to for a project pen anyway. Didn't buy a new powder. Definitely don't need one. We'll just set real quick. Not heavy, but just a little bit. So in Ulta these days, all of the testers are taped down uh, so that you are unable to touch the products, but you can still see like the eyeshadow palettes, they're taped open so that you can see, you know, what shades are there. You don't have to look online or, you know, something else to find out what the shades look like. You can still see the shades, the testers are still there, but they are just not testable. I think it's going to be odd. I mean, it's just odd. I don't, it, it's a, it's a weird thing to not be able to touch makeup in Ulta. I mean, like that's kind of what I go there for is to test out the things I think I'm going to want and, you know, see if I actually want them because otherwise I would just order them from online because I'm that person. I don't have a new brow product. So I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna do my um, little mini It Cosmetics brow power. And uh, in, I guess it's called Universal Taupe. We'll just do this real quick. Why am I doing this without a, without a mirror? Oh my glory. So in my Ulta, there were a few brands that I saw for the Kind of the first time in my store again i have only been one other time since march so i do not spend uh any time in there but they had a small display of nars which was uh nice to see they had a small display of thrive cosmetics there were no products because it was only the testers i guess in my area we done bought out thrive cosmetics but uh that was i just I just went crazy on that brow. It's crazy. It was nice to see that display. That was nice. Um, and then Florence, that, you know, the that product that had an end cap. And oh, a lot of Kylie. Like a lot more Kylie than I thought. A lot of Kylie. Um, but, you know, some of, some of our... Our favorites, there was uh, Ju Juvia's Place had like a permanent section, which is awesome, plus an end cap. And Wet n Wild in mine just had an end cap. So not much real estate for Wet n Wild in my Ulta. Um, Morphe was, Morphe, the Morphe side was huge. I mean, it was, it's an entire row plus two end caps. I mean, it was a lot, it's a lot. 
I don't know what kind of mess is going on with Morphe and Ulta. I don't know. So one of the things I got was the Kat Von D, which is now in Ulta, uh, the Shade and Light Contour Duo in uh, Sombre and Lucid. And I picked this up because I do not have the face palette. I never, I never bought that. Um, we had a good long while there that we weren't buying Kat Von D because of her. Now she's bought out. So Kogano bought her out of Kat Von D. And so she's no longer receiving any money. There's no residual money. There's no anything. Like she's gone. Which is what we wanted to happen. Now I feel completely comfortable. And even more than that, I feel determined that now I need to purchase from them because I was withholding my purchasing dollars because of her. They've solved that problem. Now it is time, in my opinion, to go back and to appreciate that they listened and they solved the problem. I have I always loved the products from Kat Von D, always. And that it was, I don't wanna say painful because it wasn't, but it was a shame that I had not purchased from her in a very long time. It, it made me sad too, because I loved the products so. And so I'm happy now that we are back. If we demand that somebody take accountability and somebody do something and they do, then we have to step back in and go, yep, that's exactly right, thank you so much. And then we reward behavior that we want to see more of, right? It's if we tell a, a company, you need to make your shade range better, and they do, then we need to buy it. Because we need to tell them, not only by withholding our money, but by spending our money, the kind of things that we want to see as a community. That's my opinion. So, happy to have bought this. I have always remained using the products that I had because to me, I've already spent that money and I didn't ever stop using those products, but I am now happy to start purchasing again. That makes me very happy. If you have a different opinion, that is okay. You are more than welcome to have that and I'm happy that you, you feel the way that you do. I feel this way. All right, we're gonna use a kimchi blush. This is the Thaler blush. <laughs> In peachy I thought I'd do a little bit uh, kind of light peachy I say peachy it's a little bit pink I'm gonna use one of my Alamar Cosmetics um, cheek brushes that I got man this stuff is pigment okay I'm gonna I'm gonna tap quite a bit off of that and then let's see oh Kim okay so I gotta tell you um, so many people have reached out to me to tell me that kimchi did release bronzers and then kimchi released contours. So I did order the bronzers and uh, they came very quickly. Let me rephrase. My shipment came very quickly, but it did not, when I opened the box, it did not contain the bronzers. I, and I bought the, the whole set, the bundle, I bought it all. It did not contain the, the set, it contained the blush set, which I already owned. I already bought the bundle on that. And so I contacted customer service and I had a very difficult time. Uh, it took, I, the, the blushes arrived on Monday and I didn't hear back until Thursday. And what they said was, is can you take a picture of what's in the box? And I should have known to do that to begin with, but I didn't. So I took a picture of the blushes, sent it back. And then yesterday, Friday, I got, here's the shipping label to send those back. And when we get them, we will send you the bronzers. Not what I wanted, kimchi. I've been waiting a while. Not what I wanted. So I may just go ahead and, or I don't know, it may, I, I've already sent it. I've already printed it and sent it. We went out this morning and sent it. So we'll see. All right, new highlighter. This is the Revolution Nightmare Before Christmas collab. This is the highlighter in Moonlight, Mischief, and Madness. So cute, but the, y'all, this. I mean, I, why is it so freaking bulky? I'm probably gonna end up ripping this up and depotting it so that, if I like it, so that I, you know, can keep it. This is ridiculous. Oh, okay, oh. Jack did not come to play, play. 
Okay, now we gotta blend like a lot, lot, lot. Okay. Gosh, that's pretty. See, now I gotta figure out how to. I'm gonna bust that out. That's just that's too that's too much. That's too much packaging, y'all. That's too much packaging. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Even if I didn't have a very large collection, right? Like even if I'm one of those folks that have a makeup bag, right? You have your little makeup bag or your little drawer in your bathroom, and that's what you use to get ready. That's it's huge. It's huge for why? It's so unnecessary. What are they doing? Uh love that though. That's <laughs> very, very blinding. Love that. Okay. Let's move on to eyes. That's a pretty cheek, Leanne. Yes, it is. Okay. I got a couple of palettes and I want to try them both. So I got the Makeup Revolution Tensely, Intensely Pigmented Foil Shadow Palette in Fusion. It's nothing but foils. And I want to try one on the lid. I don't know why we are so disgusting right now. Like what happened? Was it me? Did I have them on my fingers? Probably. I swatched a couple in my last video, so I probably have smeared that. I did. I smeared it everywhere. I'm so sorry. I'm, you know, I have seen lots of YouTube videos because I watch makeup videos. Like that's one of the things that I do with my time. And there are like two types of people in the world. There's the people who have clean makeup palettes like you when they hold it up you're like you know yeah, yeah yeah it looks like it's new even if they've used it and then there's folks that look like they step in their palettes they grind I don't understand they are so grubby I can't stand it I have to like if I get something on my palette I have to clean it off I, I'm a weird I, maybe I'm in the minority what are you are you do you have to have it clean do you freak out a little bit when it's dirty I do I just don't I don't like grubby stuff now I have some like bronzers and such that the way that I put my brush in it, it's made the outer ring grubby and it makes me like a little anxious to, yeah, I know, I'm so sorry. Anyway, we're gonna use one of those, but we also got the 35XO Morphe palette. Uh, this is the Natural Flirt. I picked this up today. Did I need it? No. Have I even used the 35 whatever over there? No. I wanted this one though, so I got it. So let's do a pretty, a pretty mauvey pink Let's do it. What are we going to do today, y'all? We are going to go outside and we are going to plant some plants. We got a couple of planters that fit over my de back deck rails. So we're going to do that this afternoon. And I picked up, we went to the nursery, this local nursery this morning to pick up the, uh, the plants that I wanted. And so I'm super duper stoked. I have like some crazy looking things that I'm going to, I love plants that don't look like plants. They look like aliens. <laughs> so, but I also, I needed to pick up a couple peonies for the front of my house. So I picked up a couple peonies because now is the time to plant them. If you like peonies, go get you one, baby, and get it planted. And then it will bloom in the spring and the summer and you will be very happy. Uh, if you live in the kind of zone that you can grow peonies. My grandmother did, and so I love them. Okay, so I just put a cream mat called Come Here Often all over my lid to set my eyeshadow primer, which is the Amuse Cosmetics Clean Slate. And I think I'm going to just do a pinky eye because this entire palette is either neutral or pinky. So there's a couple of warm, you know, kind of browns here. And there's some browns here. It's Morphe. You know, half the palette is brown. But half of this palette is pink. So I'll take it. All right, I think I'm gonna do the the coolest pink here, touchy feely. It's the wait that one. It's a cool pink. So let's see how she goes. I'm using my Zoeva little travel set that I got from the Boxy Pop Up because I love the little short little short handles. I have never used travel brushes before buying this set, and I love it so much that I bought another set at the last pop up because. There's something about the control of it that I really enjoy. I'm gonna throw that. You know, this doesn't really go with my top because my top is like corally warm terracotta, but I don't care. So y'all, at this nursery, um, it's one of those really deceptive nurseries that you go, you drive by it and you're like, oh, that's, that's cute. There's, you know, there's a few things there and then you park and you go in and all of a sudden it's like, 
a labyrinth. Like it's the hugest place ever. It goes, it goes so far back off the road. You cannot tell it, but man, it's pretty. Um, so I enjoyed that. We walked quite a bit. I think I walked over two miles at the place because I had my little eye watch on and it was telling me, good job, fat girl. And I was like, yeah, that's me walking. Anyway, so um, at this nursery, they had uh, not only like ceramic pots and all that you could buy, they had, I mean, they had every kind of plant you could ever want, but they also had these um, like little garden statues. You know how like old folks, they got the little the cute little fake deer and you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm just playing with colors now on the outer corner. And uh, I actually picked up one cause I wanted a little, a little ceramic bunny. But it was, it's really stylized. It's not, it doesn't have like, you know, a raincoat on or anything. It's just like a kind of a, it's a stone little bunny. Anyway, I got him and uh, then I saw, I turned the corner and I saw a fox who was not a real one. A fox that was sitting on a stump like a ceramic one. And he had, I believe he had on glasses and he had on what looked like a tweed jacket with elbow patches. And I thought, oh. That's the one I need that. And my husband looked at me real hard and I was like, how much is it? And she said, he goes, mm -mm -mm. so I looked at, I looked at the tag. It was $179 y'all. And then I thought, and I thought, no, but if I'm still in a few weeks and I'm still thinking about Foxy Loxy sitting on that stump, guess where I'm going to be? $179 poor. That's what I'm going to be. That's what I'm going to be. Wouldn't he just be so cute sitting in your little garden reading his, reading his little book and his little glasses on? I know. I just, what, who? Who would need that? No one. But who wants it? Me. I also really love those people who dress up that goose, that plastic goose, and put it in the front yard. You, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so that was this shade here. It is absolutely gorgeous. Makeup Revolution does a really good foil kind of, it It feels creamy when you touch it, but it's not really cream. They do a good job of those. And that is a beautiful color. I'm going to do a little bit of like a, like a this, on, maybe on the outside real quick. Just bump that up a little bit more, just on the outer lid, not taking it higher than that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty. Um, but you know, those people who dress up the goose for the, you know, for each month, they have 12 little outfits for them. And then in June, he wears the raincoat. And then, you know, Halloween, he wears the pumpkin. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I love those people. I think it's great. I love those people who go out and, like, have different lawn decorations for Halloween. And they move them every night. You know, I love that. I think that's so precious. We've got, like, um, I'm going to say animated. No, we've got um, Nightmare Before Christmas blow blow up the air ones when you plug in all the time and the air flows through them and they glow and they have lights and all that um i'm gonna line with the dark the darkest shade make it official in this palette and uh let's see how that goes anyway i have uh the front lawn decorated for halloween but then this year i also bought a uh, a pretty small inflatable for uh, the back deck and it's a little ghost and she's so cute. And uh, she has little eyelashes. She's so cute. And she's holding a little trick or treat bag. And it was probably $19 at low, something like that. Not not too bad. Those inflatables can get very, very spendy very quickly. But this one was very cute. It's just sweet. And so I put her in the corner of the deck. Um, and so that when I go outside in the back of my house, which I do every day, I, I get to enjoy it. And it's just, it's, yeah, it's just for me. Nobody's going to see it. But I'm excited. What are y'all going to be for Halloween? You got, you, have you already figured it out? Are you, what are you doing for Halloween? We're going to have a Halloween party at my house for my sister's family. She has two children. And they are not trick-or-treating this year because of the reasons. And so we thought we would do a Halloween party with very silly things like we bought like specific halloween games we bought a pinata we bought um candy corn bowling kit you know like silly little 
games for them. So there's seven and five. And then we also, and we thought we'd have a good time. We probably will bob for apples, which I have not done since I was a child. And um, we have um, I mean, just silly, silly little games that we can, we can play in the backyard and, but all like themed Halloween, like, you know what I mean? Like everything is themed Halloween. And then we also, I also got, uh, we're going to decorate the inside of the house with your great pumpkin. It's, it's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. <laughs> we got that, uh, those kind of decorations and also that it's, it's a themed inside the house. Uh, we'll have dinner and we are serving, uh, Halloween dinner. So we are going to make feet loaf with onion toenails and a ketchup bloody stump. We are going to have ghastly green macaroni and cheese. And uh, my husband and I are eating low carb, so we will not have that, but I wanted to have, uh, we can have the meatloaf, but I, uh, I wanted to have a, just a quick fresh something for us. Uh, we will be making spooky cukes. So I'll make them in the, sh the cucumbers in the shapes of crescent moons, full moons, and have a little star cookie cutter that I can use to make those. Um, and then we will, my sister's making whatever dessert her for her family. And it's just a real simple meal. But we're also excited because on Halloween, the new season of The Mandalorian releases on Disney+. Plus. So we will be watching that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to release the entire season or just a an episode at a time. So if it releases the entire season, we'll probably watch a couple. And if not, then we'll just watch the first episode. Uh, their children uh, love Star Wars and love The Mandalorian. We do too. My husband is dressing up as The Mandalorian this year for Halloween. He typically uh, doesn't do the whole body dress up. Typically, I get him some sort of hat, you know, that makes him kind of dressed as the thing. And then he wears, you know, whatever. A couple of years we did the thing where uh, he had like a hoodie that he zipped up and it was like the Darth Vader hoodie or something like that, you know. And that's what he used as his costume to answer the door for trick-or-treaters and stuff. One year I had him a, a pirate hat, a patch, and a little, you know, like a little hook or whatever for his hand. Just, lit, you know, he's not like an all-out dresser-upper. I do, um, I do dress up every year. And I have usually the full costume. And um, this year I am doing a repeat, but I have a different... Uh, I have a different costume for my body. So I have been Minnie Mouse in the past. I mean, I, I kind of am Minnie Mouse every day, but you know what I'm saying? Like I have dressed as Minnie Mouse in the past. And I have, you know, the ears and with the big bow. And I have, um, I have a pair of Minnie Mouse slippers that my sister-in-law bought me for Christmas because I wanted them so badly and she bought them for me and I love her and they're the, like super plushy giant ones but from the side and they have like the bow they're yellow they have the side view it looks like it's a pump oh it's the cutest thing you've ever seen and, you're like, and I actually wear those I put on I put on like black tights typically and then you know whatever the the Minnie Mouse outfit that I'm, I'm making but this year I actually bought the Minnie Mouse dress from Torrid so they had Torrid this year all you plus size folks, uh, they had a, a line of dresses. They have a line of onesies, and then they also have a line of dresses that are, you know, our size. And, the, but they're like, I don't want to say wearable because everything is wearable, but they're not like costume costume. They're like actual fabric dresses. And so I got the Minnie Mouse dress. So it's, I mean, it's Jersey and it is so cute. So it's a black, black top and then the red and white stripe, uh, red, white polka dot skirt. So cute. I'm so excited about that. I'm just lining real quick with the Jordana Easy Liner in a rock and rose because I need a little bit of definition. Because my lip line has freckles on it. And I'm gonna use the new, it's new to me, the new Harry Potter little, it's called the Matte Lip Crayon. This is in Love Potion. Let's see if this will 
right here. It maybe the slightest vanilla scent, but not not much. Yo, oh, that's really pretty. I got this like just on a whim on the end cap because I've I, ha I own the palettes. I've done a video swatching them. You can check it out. Um, but though you know the palettes are long gone from my Ulta, but this one, this one was sitting there. I think that's really really pretty. Okay, real quick check. I feel like I'm too too much under the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna. Take off any excess off of this brush, and I'm going to do another quick kind of buff under there. This this concealer and that Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana seems to be a bit much together, and that's you know to be expected if you you're trying something new. You'll find out all kinds of things on whether or not things go together. How do we? What do we think? I think it's a it's a very like soft rosy, you know romantic-y kind of look. I think it looks good. Let me do a finishing powder. Um, let me do the, let me do my Trolls and Mac Play It Proper Beauty Powder. It's just a pinky one. I think that would look the nicest with, give it a little bit more of a blend. Yeah, I think that looks better. That Kat Von D contour powder, I mean, I wasn't contouring, I was using it kind of as a bronzer. I use cool tones and warm tones to bronze and such. I don't, I don't mind. I think that looks nice. I think that foundation is a nice shade match. I don't think it's very glowy at all. <laughs> if that is what you are looking for, that's not the one. That is not the one for you. You do not need that. It's not a bad foundation. It's just not a glowy foundation. That is not it. Okay, let us set. I'm gonna, I use two setting powders because I'm bougie. Okay, so I'm going to set with the locket. I'm on, I mean, it's like it, we're down to here. This was such a big setting spray. So I'm trying to use up all my pieces of setting sprays. I've got a shelf of setting sprays. And I had not, I mean, I haven't used them all. So I just I left these pieces of them and... I need to use them up. So I've been doing a good job. That Kat Von D one is lasting forever. This is also the, this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Fine Mist. This should give me some glow. Why is my nose so itchy? Um, some people were saying that this has gone bad on them. So I want to go ahead, I want to go ahead and use this up because I don't want it to go bad on me. So we're getting, we're probably a third of the way done with that one and I'll tell you the color is starting to change but the smell is fine it's just what is is there a hair a brush bristle what oh lord Jesus take the wheel okay yeah I think that's a pretty look I think it's really pretty I think uh that when I go outside to plant my funky flowers that they will appreciate that I have gone through the effort you know, to look pretty for them. <laughs> if you want to know more about uh, that, check it out on my channel. I've got the new Ciate London and Miss Piggy collaboration. Those products are, are uh, available now. And I've reviewed the cream cheek palette. I reviewed the mirror, the lip balm, and I used the sponge today. It's got little piggy nostrils. Stop it. It's the cutest thing ever. It's a great sponge, by the way. So, thank you so much for watching while we got ready using some new products. I think they look good. This pineapple doesn't look good, but the rest of it looks really good. That's, that's a highlighter and a half, y'all. Go ahead, Jack, with your bad self. I'm going to probably deposit it. I'm probably, I can't, I'm not going to be able to stand this. It's too much. It's too much. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. If you would like to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit subscribe. And then the next video will come into your subscription feed. It's for free. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.